In the last video, we talked about net present value and how it can be used when deciding between projects. If you didn't watch that video, make sure you do. The link is in the video description. In this lesson, I would like us to look at internal rate of return. Assume that you deposited $10,000 in a bank and would get $10,800 after one year. What is the true rate of return on your investment? So the rate of return is 0.08 or 8%. In short, the rate of return, that is the 8%, makes the discounted or the present value of your cash inflow, that is the 10,800, equal to your investment, which was 10,000. Basically, the rate of investment will depend on the project cash flow and not external factors, which is why it's known as internal rate of return. It is the rate of return whose discounted rate makes the net present value to be equal to zero. In the above example, we looked at a single project, but in business, we tend to look at projects with multiple cash inflow. So look at this. A project costs 16,000 and is expected to generate cash inflow of 8,000, 7,000, and 6,000 at the end of each year after three years. How do you get the IRR? In this question, the cash inflow are uneven and the truth is that IRR will be found by trial and error. This is how we calculate that, right? Now we know that IRR is the rate at which the project will have a zero NPV. So first, we try arbitrary 20% discount rate and get the NPV. By the way, this is just a random trial percentage. You can just pick any number. So then we have the year, the cash inflow, the 20%, and the, the present value. So year one, that is 8,000, and uh, the present value factor will be 0 0.833. By the way, this one you can get from the present value factor table, or you can calculate using the formula that you use to calculate the NPV. And so the, the present value for that will be 6664, that is 6664. And so we do that all the way to year three. So the NPV, that is 14,996, this one, minus 16,000 is equals to uh, minus 1,004. And so that means it's not equal to zero, right? So a negative 1,004 at 20% shows that the project rate of return is lower than 20%. So we try a lower discount rate, that is 16%. Uh, and if you get the net present value of this, it will be 15,943, and this will give us negative 57. So we try an even lower number. In this case, we try 15%, and that gives us a present value of 16,200. The calculation is just the same, the way you calculate in PV. And so that will give us, that is 16,200, 16,200 minus 16,000, and that will give us 200, and this is positive. So positive NPV means that the true rate of return lies between 15 and 16%. So the fourth thing you have to do is we find out a close approximation of the rate of return using linear interpolation. So PV at lower rate was 15%, that is 16,200 minus 16,000, which gave us 200. And PV at a higher rate was 16%, that was 16,200 minus 15,943, which gave us 257. The rate here will be 15% plus, then you put that one into bracket, the 16% minus the 15%, and you multiply that one by 200 over the 257, and that will give us 15.8%. Make sure you watch this video again to understand it. Okay. In the next lesson, we look at IRR for even cash flows. Remember, this one was IRR for uneven cash flow. And one more thing, if you have any issue, leave it in the comment section and let me know what you think. Again, remember to subscribe to our channel or, you know, tell us what you think.